Okay, hi, this is M. I'm back. Uh, this is the second video in the series of virus farming update. Now, uh, the idea that I wanted to start you with last time was uh, to plant your own food, to, to grow your own food. Here we are in, in Boca, Nepal. It doesn't matter where you are in the world. Um, what I see happening in the world is there's an awful lot of unused and perfectly good farmland laying all over the planet and it's just laying here barren. I'm just going to use this as an example and to show you that there's no excuses to not go out and plant something. Uh, you can get seeds because you can get vegetables. Uh, you, you can find land because there's ground everywhere. There's ground somewhere. There's ground in a park. There's ground in your backyard, front yard. There's ground in the neighbor's uh, space. There's, there's, uh, there's farmland that's not being used. There's uh, strips of land along the sidewalk that's not being used. There's alleyways. There's everything you can imagine. Um, everything on, on the edges of, of, of land where even if the land is being used, get to the edge and plant something there. Now, um, I want to show you just what I'm using here. You don't even need tools, folks. I've got no tools here. I went out and I got a stick. Here's a stick. And I got a, a sharp piece of rock right there. So you don't even need tools. I wear gloves just uh, because I'm accident prone. But uh, if... And, and also, another factor, rain. When it rains, you say, oh, I can't plant today. You know what? That's bullshit. It just rained a massive hailstorm here about 20 minutes ago. Uh, half an hour ago and um, we're back to this and the sun's now coming out um, as soon as you see sun um, and it's in it let's say it rained that day you actually have a distinct advantage that it did rain because uh, two advantages the ground is soft you could pick e put easy holes in the ground and plant your seeds and the second thing is you are assured that your seeds are getting your a uh, good initial watering. So don't let rainfall be one of your excuses and don't let tools, as I said before, be another excuse. So if, if I wanted to come along and plant holes to put seeds in, you know, I've got this stick here that's doing the job. We're not worried about seed spacing. We're not worried about doing this perfect. We got a piece of ground we're picking, we're gonna poke deep holes in and uh, we're gonna put our seeds in there just cover it up, don't worry about it. Just let them go. In this case today, I'm, I'm poking holes now with this, with this long sharp rock, as you see. Uh, I'll show you my seeds here in a second. Go ahead and throw those to me. Okay. I just want to tell you what I did is when I went to the local market and how I got my seeds. This is this is tomato or tomato, and this is pumpkin seeds, and uh, this here is chili. Now what I did, and I'm going to show you some photos here. Um, I got the best quality of each of these that I could find. These are just three examples. It could be anything you want to plant. I recommend the pumpkins, number one, because it's, it's a good amount of food uh, weight, a good amount of, of food uh, heaviness that you can put in your body, and they're very, very easy to grow. Tomatoes, again, good, good nutrition. They're good overall uh, vegetables to use. You know all about tomatoes. And then the chilies. Chilies are tremendous companions for the pumpkin. They go, to, they go very well together. So I took and I found the best vegetables I could find in the market. And I, I cut them open, got the seeds, washed them out, dried them out. And then, you know, you've got what you see here in, in these seeds. Now, I planted a few holes. I've got way too many pumpkin seeds. You really don't have any excuses here. 
I'm taking all of your excuses away from you. But you see, I just got this little space of ground right here, and I'm just planting a bunch of stuff. If it's, if it's wet enough, I'm poking holes with my finger. So, many ways you can do it. You can use tools if you have garden tool, but what I'm trying to show you is you don't need a tool. Now I got a few, I got a lot of chili seeds here. I'm just gonna plant a bunch of chili seeds in these holes. Just the ones that are sticking to my fingers. Good. So there's chilies gone in there. Pumpkins gone in some other holes. And here I got me some tomatoes. Well, we're talking about going off in the wild, going off in the forest, um, away from the urban uh, setting. And um, again, I've just got uh, chilies and pumpkins here that I'm planting. Um, doesn't matter what we're planting, but I would suggest these two together. You can always poke a hole in the ground. Now it's just rained here, and um, easy to poke holes in the ground. Easy to get your seeds in the ground. So I'm going to use my bare hand here for planting. Now I've already got um, seeds in this hole. I planted up. That's it. Okay, I'm going to go along and I'm going to keep on uh, planting more. If you follow me, I'm just going to plant more holes here. Put in my, put in some more seeds, cover it up. It's done. Now see what's nice is in the forest you've got mulch going on all over the place. So you want to cover that up. Not too much, not too little. We can just go along throughout the forest, I would suggest to plant at the base of trees or at the base of big plants. These big spaces, maybe people are going to be walking through here. Sometimes, like in the case of chilies, um, these are a small enough planting where sometimes you just, you're going to remove the mulch, just put the bare seeds down like that, and uh, I'm just going to cut up these. There's lots of seeds inside these. If, if you see this, on the ground. There's lots of chilies on the ground right here right now. Just put your mulch right back over those seeds and you know they're good to go. This is a little bit insane. Maybe you're not gonna be able to make this out but you can go along through a jungle through a forest area and um, you can do this all day long, every single day, and you can have a food forest planted, hopefully somewhere very nearby you, as long as you think the situation allows um, the seeds that you plant to actually come up and grow and flourish into fruit, and so somebody can have that fruit. So I'm gonna plant here, Got another, Hole going here, putting some seeds in the ground here, and Bob's your uncle. We've got a little bit of a food forest going here. Every time one of these plants comes up uh, with these with these pumpkin, for example, it's going to spread all over the place. You get these big, heavy pumpkins. It's a it's a delightful thing to see happen. Okay, I know I'm in between a bunch of trees. I don't know, some of these are not going to get enough sunlight to survive. Some will get plenty. Uh, but I'm planting these all in together, covering them up with plenty of mulch. I'm making an assumption here that you can get out. Some of you can't, and I apologize for that. If you cannot get out, get buckets and find some soil. Fill up your buckets and then you can plant indoors and put it near a window or put it out in a balcony, whatever you can do. You can even just throw seeds and just throw them around and some of those will come up and some won't. But you'll be surprised later on, two, three weeks from now on, uh, you might see 
um, produce coming up. Please do this. Um, because we need to, to grow our own food. We need to grow very pure food. This is going to be pure ground. It's already self sort of regulated. Um, when, the, when the rain comes down, it's going to water it, providing you have enough rainfall. If not, you bring buckets of water out and you just uh, water these as you can. And um, this can be done everywhere, folks. Everywhere, everywhere. Um, everywhere you see a, a bare space of ground, plant something. And just like Johnny Appleseed, you just go out and just plant wherever you can. Get food growing wherever you can find land. This is the point I want to make. You don't have to see me planting. I just want to bring these, these concepts to you uh, just to give me motivation to go out. Because I'm doing it. I feel a little bit crazy doing it. I got seeds here in the pocket. I can go off into the jungle here and I can plant ad nauseum and I can just have hundreds of plants growing all over the place whereas there was nothing before. And in a month from now, two months from now, you could go out and find fruit of all kinds of things that you've gone along and done. Many won't come up, but that's just the nature of farming, of wild farming like this. Let's call it Jedi farming, okay? They use the ninja thing too much, uh, you know, all the kamikaze and all that. Let's call it Jedi farming, okay? Just to give it a name, uh, all these warrior terms. But this is, this is what one thing you can do because right now and we're in lockdown, we're sitting around, we're just, we're feeling useless. Don't be useless. You're not useless. There's so much you can do, folks. I'm just saying, hey, you've got the opportunity. You've got, you've got two good hands, two good legs. Use them. Even if you never see the food, somebody's going to see the food or the nature's going to get food out of this. Whatever. You're doing good for the world, and that's the message here. Do good for the world. Grow your own food. Grow, grow food for others. Feed the world. Feed people. Okay? And I, I just want to leave you with that. And so uh, we're, we're, we're going to finish up here. And I just want to say good luck. Stay, stay healthy. Stay, stay warm. Stay well. And um, stay sane. Above at, at all costs, stay sane. Don't let this uh, drive you nuts. Um, there's a lot that you can do. Okay. So take care, everybody, and we'll see you next time.